Welcome to the Slop Farm. Enjoy the video. Hello, fellow gamers. In this video, I will explain how to run Return to Castle Wolfenstein on your Windows computer. This beloved classic, originally released over two decades ago, presents some unique challenges on modern operating systems. But don't worry, with a few simple steps and the right community-developed tools, you can enjoy this iconic first-person shooter with excellent performance and visual fidelity. Let's dive into making this vintage title shine on your current setup. To truly bring Return to Castle Wolfenstein into the modern era, using a source port is highly recommended. For those who prefer a 100% vanilla experience with quality of life improvements, EORTCW is an excellent choice. If you're looking for a more enhanced, fan-made remaster with new weapons and textures, Real RTCW is a fantastic alternative. Both of these solutions provide native widescreen support and unlock higher frame rates, ensuring a much smoother and more visually appealing experience than the original game. Setting up your game with a source port like EO RTCW is straightforward. First, Acquire the necessary source port files. Then, locate your original game installation and copy the core data files, typically named PAC0, PK3 and SB PAC X, PK3 files into the main subfolder of your new source port directory. Once these files are in place, launch the game using the source port's executable. You can then easily configure your desired widescreen resolution such as 1920 by 1080, and adjust the field of view within the game's options. Even with source ports, you might encounter minor hiccups. If the game fails to launch or crashes, first try verifying the integrity of your game files through your platform's launcher. For display problems, especially on high-resolution monitors, check your Windows display settings and adjust high DPI scaling. Running the game's executable as an administrator can also resolve permission-related issues. If all else fails, deleting the wolf config. CFG file in your game's main folder will reset settings, often fixing persistent problems and allowing a fresh start. Thanks for watching. Consider subscribing if we helped you today.